It's the all TBA. <coughs> I'm touching down from that two, one, four. And I'm on that bullshit again. And I'm on that bullshit today, right? Y'all know how I do all TBA. Y'all know how I do. I must address the bullshit. I got a problem with the fucking boxing commission or whoever's in charge of all these boxing commissions in the world, right? This is the reason why I have a problem with them. Because it was stated all around boxing, all around the world. When Earl Spence beat Chris Algieri, he will become the number one contender. Right? Everybody and their mama knew about that. Right? But what happened? The commission come up with this bullshit to where they say, oh no, Earl Spence, you got to fight one more person. One more, which is bullshit, right? So it's easy for the boxing fucking commission to change something on what they said, right? But it's not easy for the boxing fucking commission to reprimand these fucking judges for all these terrible, terrible decisions that has been going on, right? It's easy for them to say, no, Earl Spence, we know we told you, your whole camp and everybody around the world, right, that after you win your, your fight against Chris Algieri, you will be the number one contender for Kell Brook Belt. But what happened? The Boxing Commission, they went into their bag of fucking tricks and they changed up the rules. But they can't change up the rules to these bitch-ass judges out here who is fucking a lot of these fighters out of food out of their mouth. Real talk, or out of their first championship belt, or whatever. Uh, or fighters come all the way over to the USA, get fucked by the judges. Uh, uh, fighters go all the way to the UK, get fucked by the judges. They go anywhere to the Philippines, to Mexico, or wherever the fucking fights are happening. These judges need to be fucking reprimanded. If it's easy for y'all to go back in there and change y'all fucking word on what y'all told everybody around the world, including Earl, the true Spence Jr., that after he beat Chris Algieri, he'll be the number one contender. And y'all change that up and say he got to fight one more person? But then you motherfuckers can't go back and look on all these bullshit-ass fights that's been going fucking on, right? Y'all won't change that. Y'all won't reprimand these fucking judges. But you can go and tell us what everybody been looking forward to for months. We want to see Earl Spence fight Kell Brook next. But y'all took that away from us because y'all could go in there and change rules on what y'all want to happen. But y'all not going to reprimand these fucking judges. Y'all not doing nothing about all these fucking promotional fucking companies not uh, having all their fighters fight all the fighters around the world. We went through a fucking cold war with you son of a bitches. Now y'all not y'all could go back and change rules on what the fuck y'all said that we were all going to see all across the world we've been looking forward to for months. Because we was ready to see Earl, the true Spence Jr. fight Chris Algieri. I mean, fight Kell Brook. Do you understand me? So fuck the Boxing Commission. Fuck everybody that's associated with them. Because we see they play by their own beat. They go change what they want to change. They don't change on the right shit. On, on how these fighters not fighting the best out there. Or, or how these fighters can fight these bums out here. And let it keep going on. Or, or, or And all the bullshit that's going on in fucking boxing. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. I'm going to tell you everything you want to hear and everything you don't need to hear. Once again, it's your boy, Mr. Isle TBA, touching down from the 2-1-4, and I'm on that bullshit again.